everybody. I'm LA. I'm Eddie G. I'm AJ. By all means, let's uh, start this uh, extravaganza. I see you got a box here. What's this? Uh... Oh, yes. We got uh, some cool giveaways, you know, by this, Chiquito uh, Picoso. Chiquito Picoso. Yeah. I noticed that when I walked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a cool, you know, they got some cool stuff. They also do masks and uh, cleaning cool, uh, cool. supplies. Shout out to yeah. them. Um, you can also look them up at uh, chiquitopicoso.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we're in it to help small companies, small, you know, uh, businesses to get them going. Not only us, but everyone else out there. Who has a business that needs help, hey, why not, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not greedy. <clears throat> you can all make money. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, so uh, it just keeps getting uh, worse out there in the street. Worse huh? out there, bro. So we got we have the National Guard oh, shit. Oh, here in LA, in downtown. So I feel bad if for everybody that needs to drive through downtown, dude. Like, I mean, you're gonna get stopped, pulled over. I mean, you've seen you've seen the news, yeah. right? People, those kids got pulled over. Was it Chicago or Texas? Today, six Atlanta police officers are facing charges. Seen on video tasing two college students and pulling but them it, from yeah. their car Saturday night. I try not to watch. say they weren't even participating in the protest. A lot of news right now. Is, it's a lot of the same thing. Yeah, over I, I get the over. cause. I get what's going on. Mm-hmm. What, you know, the people this out there are trying to do. Yeah. Of uh, Atlanta, 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 uh, I do see a lot of, uh, which is crazy, on on one uh, news station that out in Chicago. Uh, the Latin Kings, which is like the big gang yeah, out crazy. of Chicago, like they started they, uh, jumping people, right? They well, started, like, well, harassing. they were de- no, they were defending the neighbor, the the strip where all the, yeah. the stores were. You know, they were helping these business owners. You know, pretty much protecting uh, their business. You know, so okay. who's gonna go up against a, a neighborhood? Mob, yeah. yeah, a mob of people just yeah. protecting. Just who else? I think I saw John Jones. Yeah, John beating, Jones was out beating, there. Not beating up, but well, just... Well, he was taking uh, spray cans away from kids. Yeah. Right? yeah. He was yelling at him. He goes, this isn't what it's about. You know, it's you not, guys are in it for something else, you know. Yeah, but it's, uh, I find it ridiculous. I mean, whoever's out there just looting. I mean, they're doing it for all the wrong reasons. They're piggybacking yeah. off of the situation. Yeah. Happened. But, uh, I mean, it, it, protests haven't only happened here. They ha- they've been happening all over the world, dude. I mean, you got France, Britain, Germany, uh, what is it, Italy, Mexico, Ireland, New Zealand, Canada, Poland, Australia, and Syria so far. I mean, I mean, for Syria to take time out of its own civil war since they've been at war since 2011, it's just crazy, dude. For, mean, them, for them to go out of their way and be like, man, let's, let's, you know. Especially for the United States, right? Let's yeah. help them out. Let's see, you know, because yeah. they got greater issues out there, you know, it's definitely war different. issues. They're always at war. Yeah. I mean, the Middle East is always at war. Shout out to Syria. Yeah. Out there. Thank you, Syria. Yeah. We're also praying for, for their, uh, you know, peaceful. It's always a religious war that they treat. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an ongoing thing. It's like neighborhoods out here, you know? Historical. It's just religion constant. out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure this is one of the biggest protests yeah. in history. It's for sure the biggest protest against racism. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. USA, yeah. people of color here, I'd like to thank you. Yeah. For, the, for, the, for a good cause. Yeah. I mean, just so nobody gets it confused, everybody understands what these protests are about, right? I don't think everybody does. No? What do you think they're about? No, well, <laughs> no, I know what it is, but yeah. the people out there, they're just like, you know, some of them are saying it's fake to make Donald Trump uh, the bad guy, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I heard someone uh, had said... And a lot of people are trying to, like, switch it around and, you know, try to make Donald Trump the good guy. And mm-hmm. I mean, but in reality, what this uh, these protests are, I mean, we're fighting injustice that's happening right now to our black brothers and sisters. I mean... It's, it, it's just not happening here. It's happening everywhere around the world. I mean, we're here. Uh, we're, we're trying to be heard and we're trying to protest peacefully. There are people out there that are 
going to continue to take advantage and piggyback and riot and loot, you know, just for, you know, self gain. And they're uh, really, they're just deterring our, our voice. You know, our voice is being, if you hear on the news, you know, the protesters are looting and rioting, which is not that, the case at that, all. That's like more important to them yeah. to... Uh, well, yeah, it's always fake news, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I hate using that word, just fake news. I, mean, I know, that's like his thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, we're fighting. People of color are just fighting the injustice all around the world. Uh, has has um, people been arrested due to all this? Yeah, every day. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I think it was like 8,000. I don't know if it was 8,000, 9,000. 9,000 people arrested since then. That's a combination of protesters, rioters, and looters. Looters and just innocent bystanders, I'm guessing. Yeah. Did you see, uh, I don't know, I was watching the news the other day, and uh, I believe it was uh, Chicago or Atlanta. Atlanta police uh, peppered or maced their own senator, dude. Oh, really? I, don't, I don't know where that was. Yeah. With his they name their own clearly senator visible. And, uh, State black? Senator no. Zelna Myrie's goal I mean, was to was keep cop, the so. peace. Oh, but despite his intentions and complying with police officers' demands, the senator says he was shoved, pepper sprayed, yeah. and handcuffed. Later the released when those in charge realized right? who was. It was at, first it was at six, and now it's at uh, eight, and then oh. it was at nine. Once they started looting and getting out of hand, they just kept lowering the. Uh, the hour yeah, I went to went from uh, six to five to four like that was at a uh, home depot i think uh I think you're there a lot man <laughs> i'm always there dude. You, should, you should uh I ask them to live, give you an apron i practically live there <laughs> that was there what uh sunday <clears throat> sunday morning <clears throat> sunday morning and uh there's this uh it's in a strip mall right so there's this uh they have a panda GameStop, and there's a millennial shoe place there and it was mm -hmm. just you could tell they broke into it it was just gone cleaned it out yeah. yeah and i bet you could find all the shoes there but it's funny how it was just the shoe store yeah not well you know what they also try to break into what they have a cvs or walgreens there and you could see damage to oh really yeah the boards there because <clears throat> um i believe i'm not if i'm not mistaken it was either friday night or saturday morning the, a new jordan or a new nike was, was supposed to have, have been uh they dropped the fives no didn't they drop the fives uh, a while back ago this was know. before the so it, it, it's it's funny how that nike was supposed, supposed to have, have been out yeah. that weekend that they yeah. break into that you know yeah hopefully <laughs> i think they were hoping uh, to get all the yeah, merchandise that's crazy. Right? yeah well when, well speaking about that i have uh just friends from back in the days, you know. Uh, they're the Negrete family. Negrete. Yeah, shout out to them. Hopefully, you know they can, you know, have it back up and going because you know it's a music store. Oh, okay, okay. You know, not only do they sell instruments, but you know they also teach. You know, the kids. It's like a guitar center, right? Exactly. You know, and they've had it. You know, I believe they're. Th third generation second generation so it's oh wow it, it was like the actual hope oh, i'm i'm saying this correctly yeah. um but it's been the fa it's been in the family for for a long time you know and it's like in the heart of santa monica okay. and they were having um both cells because of the pen you know the, the virus okay they had a closed shop you know in march and so then they get hit with this, you know, not only them, but um, other shops in the area. And she actually shows video of them, you know, because wow. they, they, they ran, you know, they while the store was still open. The store was, yeah. No, it wasn't open. Oh, they just closed down. And, and yeah, you can see. And it had nothing to do with protesters. It was just it was cars just, pulling up, you know, running out, get it, going into the store, running, you know, back into the cars and taking off, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, That's shout out idea. to them. Shout out to the Negretes. What's and, the store called? Um, it's in Santa Monica. I, I forget. I'm sorry for not knowing. But it's a well-known uh, music music store in Santa Monica. They, they also teach there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so 
shout out to them and family and soon they'll get back on their feet and uh best believe we might even take a little drive out there to either help out or you know once it's up and up and running we'll get our kids some uh some equipment to make a lot of noise <laughs> but yeah but shout out to them no, I hate to bring this guy back up, but uh, he did uh, gas protesters just for a selfie, dude, at a historical church right near the White House. Donnie, dude. Oh, that's because he wanted to, uh, because he wanted, oh, I guess they were blocking his way out of the White House. Was that, was that? Yeah, so, the, so they were protesting in front, and yeah. so for them to... You know, move them. That they they shot. gassed them. Yeah, they gassed them. Oh wow! I mean, but he got so he got out of the car and still took a selfie in front yeah, of the he's, church. He's, he's like, still, <laughs> he's still, you know, he had his ways. He couldn't wait to do that. Wait, it, it could have just been easily like, hey, can you guys get out, yeah. please? <laughs> move to the side. Yeah, but uh, things will not change, even with the protests. <clears throat> I mean, we're making a lot of noise. You know, there's there's Hispanics, whites, Asians, people of all color out there. Uh, Supporting our brothers and sisters. Everybody. But things will not change if we don't get out there and vote, dude. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's and it's remarkable how, how many people do not vote. I mean, and it's very easy. Everybody has a smartphone. You just go to vote.gov. I mean, for people in California, they just go to vote.ca.gov and register to vote. If you're not registered to vote. But once you register, don't forget to vote. I mean, your last day to vote. I'll post the link in the description. It's uh, vote.gov. Um, but you have until October. It's October 19th. Yeah. I mean, they, um, they have, uh, like, you know, U.S. citizens have that that thought that, oh, my vote doesn't count. Or, look, I voted in, in the right, you know, president didn't get elected or the governor or the mayor. You know, they're always like, ah, you know. So, they think their vote doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I mean, but that's with every, uh, I guess, my dad been a citizen here for a good 20 years. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's like, nah, why am I going to go vote? They're not going to listen to me, dude. I just got my uh, <laughs> you know, citizenship. I'm Mexican. What do they care? Yeah, basically. Yeah, we pretty much have to force like our parents. Come on, here. Yeah. Here, we'll sit next to them and, you know, because they on get Tuesday, the things mailed to their house. This country yeah, yeah. will make one of the most <clears throat> important. The most important. But the most yeah, important go out there and vote. Uh, yeah. if you, you want change? Have a chance. You have an obligation to be a uh, part of that decision. That's the you best thing to do. Not important. You might think you're not important, but that's not true. <clears throat> and the only way I we mean, can prove that to you is by having lots of famous there's people. Always lots ha- there's always something people. happening. Lots and lots of famous here? people. Did you see the video? I think it was posted today, if not yesterday. I mean, we got uh, sharks. When, 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 uh, sorry, when you, uh, when, when you send me the email. Yeah. First thing I, cause you know, I love dolphins. I'm a dolphin lover. Not only the mammal, but the team. When's your guys' first game? Don't you guys play the Pats first? Yeah. In September. Um, so when I open your email, first thing I see is shark. And next thing I see is flipper. <laughs> so, like, I, you oh, know, I, I, I was like, uh, what is this guy doing to me? Like, uh, are we going to start off like this? You know? Uh, but then I actually saw what you had wrote. I was like, oh, okay. So then I got a kick out of it. So go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, what well, you were I mean, you could see the, the, <laughs> the sharks. Uh, so yeah, there's a there's a guy in Australia. He's a spear he's a spear fisher, and uh, he had a GoPro on him, and he was uh, you know doing his thing spear fishing. And this massive <laughs> bull shark comes out of nowhere, just and he sees him coming too. So you could you could hear him scream, just like oh, sh-, you know, like uh, yeah. and, and he's running up, uh, swimming up, and uh, the shark takes the flipper. But I mean, once the shark takes a bite at it. And, He's no blood. Yeah. It's not edible. He just. Well, that's what be. they do. They they nick you. They nip you. Yeah, they're like infants, right? Yeah, they I nip mean, you, uh, and then they wait for you, or you. <laughs> they wait for let's say a seal. They nip the seal, mm-hmm. and it waits for it to literally bleed to death. Okay. Or or the, it leaves a stream of of blood. Okay. So they'll just follow it until it's done, and then they just go pick it up. It's pretty crazy. I hate giving credit to a shark, but no, they're out there. 
I have respect for them. But yeah. I was scared shitless. <laughs> it's been getting hot as well so lately dude I mean, oh my I, goodness I, that, dude? I mean i like the breeze like around noon you get a what the santa Ana winds mm. coming through the uh, mountains but uh I, I mean along with the heat comes bugs dude i've been seeing a lot of uh you know, ants spiders all over my house i mean it's spring as well so a lot of them are hatching and you got the birds chirping but ants dude i have them coming in through my windshield dude. not the windshield the window the kitchen window They're crazy it's coming in so i went out there and i sprayed them with that <clears throat> ortho home defense mm-hmm. as i'm spraying it and where did you buy it the ortho home defense i mean well the store's name is literally on the ortho home defense but where did you buy it home depot home depot yeah home depot. it's gonna be our sponsor we're always talking about it about not home only depot? talking about it but uh you know well those those didn't carry uh they, they they had run out and they only had repellent they didn't have uh like the killer and yeah uh, it's a, like an uh, unscented killer so like the ants don't detect it um mm-hmm. uh, ants just i guess once they come across it they don't even know they have it on their bodies oh, wow. and they pass it on to the other ants <laughs> hopefully they pass it on to the queen right oh yeah dude so i was out there spraying this huge black widow pops out of nowhere dude it's like the biggest black widow vibe ever inside seen. your house no outside oh outside uh, outside by you the didn't window. kill it did you no i didn't kill it oh, I, okay. I put it in a cup and i threw it in the trash i don't know if i killed it by doing that but why would you kill it i didn't kill it what well, you did trash. when you do it in the trash that's like pretty much uh drown the poor thing I, did you know I, they eat technically i just bugs made, yeah ants. well i mean there's bugs ants in the trash mm-hmm. bin right I made it a nomad. I mean, because when the trash, <laughs> when the trash guy comes like to take reject biker. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the bikers out there. <laughs> no, but I remember uh, I was young once, dude, and uh, we were all young once, right? Yeah, uh, I can't remember. Have you ever found a garden snake in your uh, house at all? Do you get uh, garden snakes no, in? Not uh, here. Where is it? I don't know where you lived. Dude. Right here in the hills, now. No. no? We get a, uh, like we have our personal uh, like uh, animal control out here. So I give one call and they'll be right out here to take any critter that I don't want. Like on uh, open season? Is it open season or? Yeah. They have like marksman, you know, if I get coyotes or <laughs> he said cougars, marksman. you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like my personal hitman for. Uh, oh, jeez, dude. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was about eight years old in this, uh, I'm walking into my father's den <clears throat> and this garden snake just pops out of nowhere, bright green, white belly and, uh, scared the crap out of me, dude, but it was, it was small. It was about, I would say 10 inches. So my, uh, my mother picks it up with the uh, pencil and just toss it, tosses it out. I was reading the other day that there's this guy in India that found 40 of them, dude. 40 snakes in his uh, household, dude. So, so par- he was breeding them or what? Nah, so I guess uh, <laughs> he found, he woke up, found one in his bedroom. Oh, I guess it's like a natural thing out there. They find them in their house, tosses it out, comes back in, finds a couple more in his, in his bedroom. And he's like, dude, where are they coming from? So I guess he tosses those out. He, uh, you know, uh, starts looking around the house and finds it in the air conditioner that's where they were that's where they were all hiding guess how many 40 dude i guess no, the uh but do snakes lay up to 48 but don't they isn't the ac unit don't they have like a like a windmill type of thing like that spins around i mean it's uh, i wouldn't know i would assume it's like i'm sure it's there because of the warmth because of the machine being turned on you know how it heats up when it's turned on I would but assume if, it gets if, cold because the refrigerant, right, on the pipes. That too, but yeah, and the condensation. I, I guess it gets hot, right? Uh, but uh, the thing, the I mean, propellant. I'm not a HVAC tech or anything, but I mean, I would assume it gets hot, right, somewhere. Jesus, I don't know. Yeah, well, anyways, That's it was scary. in, like, it was in, I guess, in a suburb area of India. Mm. And I guess it's common for them because he he didn't even freak out when I was reading the. Uh, I was just reading the column and. He didn't freak out. He grabbed his buddy, his neighbor, and they 
wrangled all the 40 snakes and took it to the vet uh, before releasing it into the woods. So apparently the vet says that the mother snake laid eggs. I mean, do they lay that many they do eggs? It. They do lay a lot. 40 eggs, dude, for 40 snakes. <clears throat> yeah, because I know, I know a python does like 20 something. I'm not a so python not. expert, but you know, <clears throat> I do watch a lot of uh, Ice Cube. And uh, what? <laughs> Ice Cube? Ice Cube and uh, what, what was it? Uh, what's that other? She's a singer, Hispanic, Colombian singer or Colombiana? The hell? Where you go? <laughs> Anaconda, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. There you go, J Lo. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean, uh, uh Animal Planet. Oh, okay. Yeah, they talk about um, pythons. Oh. And the reason why Miami right now is infested with anacondas or pythons is because they. You know, people buy them. They breed them. They not well that that, but they get too big and they just flush them down the toilet, or they just get rid of them, just throw them out. So it's kind of like the uh, uh, alli- you throw an alligator in there yeah. and survive. And so because of that, they're they're breeding outside, mm. and they're like now they're just known for being in front of people's yards. Oh wow! Or in the backyards, or their or their pools. I mean, you're a big Miami fan, man. Huh? Yeah, uh, that's why I don't want to go out there. Like, there, it's to the point where they're even taking over the gators, bro. You know, Miami was known for gators. You know, yeah. like, like you would just see them chilling, you know, crawling, you know, down the street. But now it's yeah, see them uh, golfers post on their Twitter a lot. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I just saw a video. As a matter of fact, two of them going at it. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. At a golf course, I think it was like in. I forget what what uh what state but it was in miami no, no? Uh, maybe yeah maybe but yeah you see that you, know, <clears throat> you know they're playing golf yeah and then somebody's like oh but it was they were both massive, massive. like they're just huge. and you just hear you know locking and so it was only like a minute and a half but, yeah. i mean i've seen them go at it a couple of times yeah, usually yeah. the one on top wins always I mean, that's with i guess any uh <sighs> scary uh, we don't have that problem over here we have dogs and cats we have dogs and cats and mountain lions <laughs> pigeons that damn pigeon i get so many emails dude from people i don't even know dude it's like you buy something off of amazon and enter your email and then you buy you click on an ad and you buy something else and then all of a sudden you got the california lottery you play the powerball dude <laughs> right fantasy I, five winning numbers i like playing the daily three i used to win a lot on the daily before, three yeah because yeah. you know you always play your favorite numbers you know yeah. like you go birthdays uh i used to do my baseball jersey you know when i played you used to play yeah. baseball yeah High school i won't say what high school because um it did me wrong so what did he give you a diploma <laughs> <laughs> did he give you a diploma no nah shout out to my high school culver city high 1993 <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i was born then <laughs> Shit. you sent me something else bro um like a fun fact we'll end it with a fun fact oh well uh (laughs) oh yeah so san diego has a roller coaster have you ever been to uh belmont park i didn't even know they had because the only thing i know in san diego is sea world and so it's right by it's right by sea world it's just west of sea world it's uh west and i would say a little bit south so west south from sea world just a little farther farther Wait. down south yeah uh it's uh, mission beach so uh mission beach but it's called belmont theme park yeah oh, okay yeah right off the beach dude and uh it's kind of like if you go to uh fremont okay in las vegas it's kind of the same thing oh, okay, okay, okay. like off of i don't know what street is right by uh belmont uh, or mission beach but it's kind of like that they have a bunch of bars and I mean, excuse no me Ooh. <clears throat> it's like you're six one no? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah so uh yeah so the uh the theme park or the roller coaster uh staff members they you know they have to run the uh roller coaster every every day just to check for you know faulty equipment keep the machinery up and yeah, running. you don't want the grease to actually freeze or, or dry does dry grease up. ever freeze i mean I, that's i think it just it gets real sticky or you know? it solidifies right yeah With the sun it heats up right yeah that word oh my god alex <laughs> so yeah i mean i would only assume that all the uh, water content evaporates mm -hmm. and everything else right so uh yeah so they have to run the machinery uh, the, the coaster it's called right. the giant dipper i've been there like twice oh really yeah i took my girlfriend when i was like 17. Yeah. well anyway so they run it and i guess they've been running it since march but just recently they got tired of running it empty so they stuffed a bunch of stuffed animals they, as passengers <laughs> <laughs> and they've been running it since uh, you can see people posting it on uh twitter and instagram that must just, be that that's a that's that's something crazy to see like, you just see the animal like stuffed animals like yeah you know? fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. oh man i i can't wait for the actual you know opening up <clears throat> Did you see the actual? Is there an actual video of this? Uh, no, I didn't see the video. I just seen. Uh, uh, I'm like, sure if pictures. you look it up. Yeah, someone yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably shoot it out there. You know. So, uh, have you been out to protest yet, or you haven't been able to? No time, bro. No time. Yeah, just you know. Work. Work and kids, wifey the house the house itself is a home you know it's a it's a it's, yeah, it's yeah. work you know but we're here you know we try to you know send our prayers and our did you ever get a chance to take a look at the uh, algae out in on our coast no it was I actually went it was uh i caught it uh i caught it like a day late but you could still find uh the algae and the uh, sand mm. and when you would like uh rustle up the sand and just mix it up you oh, can really? see the the, uh, the algae like oh it's bioluminescent so you essence. actually went to the beach yeah, i went to the beach yeah when you weren't supposed to no we were supposed to go uh, we were able to go to the beach oh the beach was open yeah oh. they opened it what say april because oh, if i would have known no, I may i would have called the authorities on you because it's a thousand dollars if you snitch on somebody per, really per person or or just the one snitch I don't know. I think it was just for businesses, wasn't it? Because my barber said he's like, "Hey, yo, I can't cut any more hair." Oh, I can't also your also your barber was actually cutting hair, so I could have just snitched on him. Well, this was. I guess they gave him a warning. They're like, "Hey, they gave me a warning. I can't That's cut fine. hair, dude." That's effed up. I was gonna yeah. say, but right next door, there's a. You want to get paid? <laughs> right next door, there's a pet clinic, and I guess the pet cl clinic snitched them out. No. Or somebody at the clinic oh, snitched them out. No. Yeah. But they gave him a warning, so I don't think there's but a they, reward for they're that. They're back in going, right? They said the barbers and hairstylists. Was that this week or last week? Excuse <laughs> me. I think they're up and going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I need a haircut, too. I've been cutting it myself, too. Yeah, this is... But how, how funny that uh, the pandemic is not even brought up anymore, you know? Now yeah. it's just... Like, you know what I mean? It was Kobe, then boom, boom. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. a little trend. G. I'm AJ. This is Bam LA. By all means, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And uh, be safe. Peace to everyone out there. Let's get our voices heard. And uh, we'll see you again. Until next time. Thank you.